Hyundai has made massive strides in the past decade. Whereas the badge once signified lowest common denominator motoring, it now stands for the best that Southeast Asia can produce. In the compact shape of the Get Super Mini, Hyundai have a car that can mix it with the likes of the Vauxhall Corsa, the Ford Fiesta and the Citroen C3. What's more, it boasts lower running costs and a better reliability record than any of these rivals, making it a very good used buy. Both three and five door versions were available from this South Korean Super Mini's launch in October 2002, with a range of trim levels that went from GSI through to Sport and then topped out at range topping CDX. Now, engines. There was a choice of three petrol engines to start with, a 62 brake horsepower 12 valve 1.1, an 82 brake horsepower 12 valve 1.3, and a 105 brake horsepower 16 valve 1.6. A 1.5 litre CRTT diesel was introduced just before the 2005 facelift, which brought these wraparound headlamps and thicker bumper inserts. Now with this facelifted car, the 1.3 litre petrol engine was replaced by a newer 1.4 litre engine with 96 brake horsepower, while the 1.1 litre range starter got a few tweaks to improve economy and emissions. The diesel, the three cylinder diesel, was replaced by a couple of diesel engines developing either 87 or 109 brake horsepower, and both are capable of returning about 60 miles to the gallon. Now, although great strides have been made in recent years, high-end interiors like this one are unlikely to worry Volkswagen designers, and some of the parts feel a little bit flimsy. Mechanically, though, the Getz has yet to show any significant faults, and Hyundai report reassuringly that warranty claims are low. Customer satisfaction surveys have shown also that dealers are very good at looking after their customers. Now, versatility is a big feature of the Getz, and the rear seat's a case in point. Let's take this bench. It reclines and it splits in the conventional fashion. And unlike many rivals where only the rear backrest splits, in this one, the rear seat cushion splits as well, allowing for all kinds of novel loading configurations. Now, one of the downsides of such a system is often a compromise on safety, but Hyundai have ensured that all three rear seat occupants get proper three-point rear belts. All models also get anti-lock brakes with electronic brake force distribution and there's twin front and side airbags too. At 3,800 millimetres long, the Getz is simplicity itself to park and the 1,660 millimetres of width make it easy to slot through gaps in the traffic. It's also, despite those compact dimensions, a realistic transport for five, as long as those five aren't rugby players. It's also easy on the conscience too. 89% of the car is said to be recyclable at the end of its life, which may well be a record for this class. Performance of all engines is lively, even the 1.1 litre car able to sprint to 60 miles an hour in a respectable 15.5 seconds, although the 1.6 litre car is really worth going for if you like a little zip. Able to hit 60 in 9.6 seconds, it will even run on to 113 miles an hour, courtesy of its low drag factor. The four-speed electronically controlled automatic transmission is worth looking at if you plan to use your gets primarily for urban sprawl and crawl, but for many, the five-speed manual gearbox will suffice. Although it's not a car that's going to create too many headlines, the Getz is a high end you can really take pride in. With sharp styling, a range of zippy engines and a class-leading after-sales package, it's a sound bet second time around. Recommended.